Hey guys, Nayesh here. So finally Android 11 ROMs are now coming and this is USB extended based on Android 11. So in this video, we are going to review this ROM and I will let you know what's working, what's not working. And if you watch this video till end, I will also explain you how you can install this on your phone. So let's get started. So USB Extended is one of the most popular Android ROM out there and I have personally been using that ROM since last 5 or 6 years. Now this ROM comes with lots of features and it also provides stability. But unfortunately because this is really early build, you won't find any features or customization that you will find in Android 10 version of this ROM. So as you can see this is indeed USB Extended Android 11 and the security patch is the latest 5th September. Now you won't get updates in this room. If you get any updates from USB extended, then you will have to manually update. And this is how your home screen look, just like Pixel. And in the app drawer, you get very few apps and that's a good thing, it will save your storage. So in the sound settings, now you get this live caption feature and when you press your power button, you get this new power menu which comes with Android 11. And it also shows you to remind yourself to give your cat a water, food and some toy. I'm just kidding guys, this is easter egg from Android 11 if you enable that in settings. So instead of these cat features, you will normally see your card information if you use Google Pay in Android 11. And by default, you won't see these swipe gestures. For that, you have to enable that in settings. By default, it comes with three buttons. So the new navigation of this Android 11 is even smoother than previous Android 10. Unfortunately, it's not as smooth as iPhone. <laughs> That's the sad part even in 2020. But the good thing is this screenshot feature. When you tap on that, it will only take screenshot of the particular window. When you tap on screenshot, of course you can crop it and add it if you want. And then there is one of my personally favorite feature of Android 11, which is you can select from multi-window. You can tap on this select and then you can select any text which is open in the recent menu. Before this, if you want to copy something, you have to open that particular app. And sometimes you can't even copy some text. But with this amazing feature, you can now copy any text from any app. Also, you get this new volume slider. And now let's talk about the quick setting. This is how your quick setting looks in Android 11. And now finally, we have screen recorder in stock Android. There are also option with recording your audio and your system audio. Even though the home screen looks like Pixel, but still it's a quick step launcher and this launcher doesn't have any feature. So you might want to install Nova Launcher. So if you saw my last Android 11 ROM video, then you might know that everything was working in that ROM except for hotspot. But unfortunately in that ROM, the hotspot was not working, but that's not the case with USB extended. Here everything is working perfectly, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, hotspot, fingerprint is working, you can use your Wi-Fi calling and Volt is working too. But the thing I like most is that you can install any GCAM in this room. I personally installed the latest GCAM 7.4 and it's working perfectly. Night mode is working, portrait mode is working, astrophotography is working. So if you're into GCAM but for some reason if you can't install in your phone, well, install this room and try GCAM again. So if you're looking for an Android room where you get plenty of features, then this is not the room for you. Because currently Android 11 comes with limited features. So if you want more features, stay on Android 10. Also, everything is not so perfect in this room. There are few bugs. For example, the dual SIM card is not working. So if you're using two SIM card, the SIM card number two won't work. But if dual SIM is not an issue for you, then you can definitely use this room as your daily driver. And now I will show you how to install this room on your phone. So first of all, you need to download these four files from description box below. Once you download them, put them in your internal storage. Also, you can use any recovery you want, but I highly recommend Orange Fox recovery. Of course, I will drop the link for that too. So now we are going to boot into our recovery. So once you are in recovery, it's highly recommended that you take full Nandroid backup. So after you take the backup, go to wipe and wipe everything except your internal storage. Now go back and locate those four files. 
So we are going to install these four files in this order. The first is firmware file, then the ROM file, and then disable force encryption and fcrypt disabler. Make sure you install this file in this order. So that's how you install AOSP extended Android 11 in your phone. Like this video if you appreciate my work and I will see you tomorrow.